Hi everyone, welcome back to the Torek channel. So today I'm gonna try and show you why this little Y adapter that cost me 2 euros 10, 10 years ago when I bought it uh, has suddenly become one of my most precious and useful piece of gear. Okay, long story short, I was trying to compare the tone I have between my Diesel V Trotto preamp pedal and my PRS MT15. I was trying to find a good rhythm tone with the PRS uh, in order to change a bit from the diesel and in order not to switch from MP1 to M2 all the time I decided to use this thing that's a stereo um, Y adapter generally you use it for something like headphones you know you plug it in you've got the possibility to plug in two different set of headphones but okay this time I decided to plug it here out of my more green mile in order not to have to plug in, plug out all the time and just have to change uh, the, the, the track on my DAO, which is Reaper. Okay, so before we go any further, the problem I have with the PRS MT15, because when I use it, I'm very close from the head, I'm something like one meter away from the head. I mean, uh, the, the, the bots are at the reach of my hands when I'm playing. And because of this, I think, uh, I could not use my passive guitars, especially this very nice and very nice sounding Shecto C1 Koa because it has super high output pickups with super massive magnets as you can see. So the guitar is currently plugged in, the volume is off. As you can see here, my noise gate is on, my uh, Mora Green Mile which is not a drive pedal is on as well. I'm gonna roll the volume on. Okay, that's what I get in general when I try to use a guitar with passive pickups. This super insane uh, Lawson noise. And uh, you know, unless I put my palms on the strings or on the pods on the bridge, it will not stop in spite of my noise gate. Okay, if you want to make 100% sure that it's not my Perez that has a problem, I'm going to show you the exact same thing with this Schecter C1 Platinum with EMG 5766 active pickups. I plug the guitar in, the volume is on. Okay, but I don't have any loss of noise. Okay. So what does uh, bring the magic in? When I plug my Y adapter here, you know, that's the PRS, that's the diesel. Add my green mile. Okay, still using the PRS, still the PRS is on. I'm gonna take again my Shake to see one cover. I'll plug it in. All right, the volume is on and the loss in noise has disappeared. Great. So why does it happen? Really, that's the point uh, I'm really not able to understand. And if you do understand, please let me know in the comment section. What I have realized, because I can only talk uh, about what I have noticed. Um, this is my focus right Scarlet. It's got two inputs. This one is for the diesel. This one is for the PRS. I'm gonna plug out the diesel because I'm not using it. Back to the pedals so you can see that nothing has changed as far as the pedals go. Back to the Schecter C1 Koa. Again, I plug it in and the last noise is back. I'm just gonna put this guitar on its stand, right? And I take back uh, the jack input for the diesel VH2, which is on as well. I plug it in back in the scarlet and the last noise 
is off again. I'm really unable to understand what happens, but I do appreciate the fact that I can now use all my passive guitars with my PRS MT15 with tons of gain, because the tone of this PRS is great, especially on the high gain channel, even though I love the clean as well. But okay, it's still a mystery for me, so if you do understand anything about that, please let me know. Okay, and in order to conclude uh, this video, and for, just for the pleasure, my pleasure and yours as well, I hope, I'm gonna play you a demo with my Shikto C1 Koa. I love this guitar, I love the way it sounds, and with the PRS, uh, yeah, really great. So hopefully you're gonna enjoy this demo. Thanks for watching and see you for the next video.